Good morning. Today is Thursday and I'm starting a new exciting day. And what else? Yeah, I'm going to my second interview with Meltwater. I'm just going to speak to the team and say hi to everybody, see what they're about. Good stuff. So uh, I thought we would talk about something I think is forgotten quite often in the programming philosoph the philosophical world of programming. So you'll hear a lot of people tell you, especially when you start out, and they're going to tell you about patterns, programming patterns. Now, there is a lot of history and a lot of work that has gone into figuring out these patterns. You have like a, a few, there's just a few from the list. Builder pattern, decorator pattern, uh, circuit pattern, adapter pattern, like there's tons of them. There's even books, you guys, if you want to go and learn all these patterns, you can go and read about them. And it's great to know these patterns, but then, and then, then, of course, there are some simple principles like solid pr principle, dry principle, all these different rule sets and the rules of thumb. Because, And I argue that what's happening here is that we're, as a community or engineers, we're trying to figure out a generic rule set that should always apply to how to program so that you know, statistically or ideally, we always produce really good stuff and we have this blueprint, if you will. Now, I will tell you right now that this does not work. For the most part, these principles are really important and they're going to guide you, but they are not blueprints to making good code. That comes from experience. Let me tr trust me that, that it's just experience. And the reason why this is, is because when you're programming or you're developing something, even if you're building the exact same thing as somebody else or something, it may have been built a hundred times. You still, you're still uniquely, the, the, the experience and this problem that you're solving is unique to your current situation. You can solve it very similarly. If you have two people building the same endpoint with the same type of, like you're solving the same type of problem, their code will not be identical because we're different people. And what I will argue is that the closest thing to a generic rule for coding that I've ever seen that's actually applicable to every situation is keep it simple, stupid. That's it. That's the only thing that I've ever seen to be 100% sure. Even the, my, a lot of people will tell me, oh, dry, don't repeat yourself. That's really important. And I've seen so many situations where this does not apply. It will break, an, in my opinion, an even more important rule. And that is to keep it simple. One of my the worst things I know is when I see people who will prioritize keeping something simple and maintainable. Oh, sorry, they will prioritize adapt, like making sure that they're dry, like they're generic, they have these best pra other best practices in place at the cost of simplicity. And simplicity is always better, in my opinion. Simplicity, yes, if you have a situation where you're copy pasting a lot and you're doing all that stuff, ask yourself really hard. I mean, if you are just starting out, the odds are that there might be a, you're missing something. And sometimes that's not. It's not, it maybe you have a problem that quite literally it makes you, it puts you in a situation where you have to choose. Do you want this to be dry or do you want it to be simple? And if you have to make that choice, always make it simple. Because the problem is never, oh, or rather, let's just walk it through, walk through it. If something's not dry and I need to make an update to, of some sort, because usually that's the case. Most people will tell you that the dry principle applies because uh, it is applicable because they don't want to have to like go to all these different places and make updates. Like if you have a single source of truth or a single point where you have to make a change to update something, that's, that's a really good thing. And they're right. But 
what would you say is more valuable, all right? You have three or four files you have to update simultaneously and keep them in sync if you want to make a change to code. Honestly, this most of the time code never changes, all right? It will change, but like it's not that often. It's not like you're doing it every five minutes. That's one, one path. The other path is that, hey, this is really complicated. I don't really understand what's going on. I would, I would make the argument, I would make the statement that I would rather waste my time updating in more than one place more, several files than having a generic, hard to understand solution that's really dry. Because that decision is going to affect my ability to effectively solve future problems. The dry principle will not help me do that, usually. I'm not saying like that this is always the case. One of my favorite examples happened not that long ago. I had an issue with the layout for ticket stubs at Ticketmaster. And what they had done was that they had created an algorithm that dynamically tried to calculate how to position all the cells on a ticket stub, depending on the input data. And I said, like, uh, the, the, this issue had, like, it had several bugs and it wasn't consistent. And I said, I argue that your problem here is that you're trying to use logic to solve a templating issue. And they are like and what that basically means is that like when you create an HTML template or something like you have a static template that always looks the same. You're not trying to dynamically calculate how it's going to position itself, which is absolutely the case. If you have a really liquid UI and you have no way of really understanding how something's going, then you have to do it. But this was a very finite amount of templates. So I said I would rather have 13 or 10 files with the different co possible combinations of a layout because if I have that then because and then, well, that's what happened like the design guys they said well we want to tweak this and just this specific case is not going to look like everything else so it was very difficult for me to create a log uh, for the people who made this to create a logic sequence that was simple for the for us programmers to understand like wh how the layout's going to behave in different situations like you had like the, the entire file was massive and there was so many if and else statements and dynamic calculations it was very difficult to understand how you could not mentally, I argue, picture what was going on. And what I was saying to my colleagues was that, okay, let me try to make something. I made a template with several different files. I named the files after the combination of data that they were, were going to represent. So you had a row, a section, and a seat, for example. And the file was, the template file was named row, section, seat which made it like it was crystal clear to most people that oh okay so that's the template that you're going to see if that's the com if that's the combination of data that you that you input into the function and the argument from some people were that yeah but this is not dry you know you have all this and if you have to change it you have to update all of the templates and i said yeah that this is true you would have to do that and honestly i will say that the problem that we're facing is unfortunately the type of problem that has no really nice, simple, crisp solution. The best thing we could have done is to change the design. Because if it was just, if we change the design or the specification, we could make this a very simple problem to solve. But that's not the world we're living in. So I will make once again the statement that if you're ever, you're ever in a situation where you have to pick between a best practice or simplicity, always go for simplicity. because. Complexity is the problem that we face as an industry. Nobody's going to tell, like, it's, it's nothing, not, very few things have such an impact on your ability to develop code as complexity. Over time, that's, I would say that's the only constant in development, that sooner or later a system becomes so complex that no one individual can understand every, every piece of the code. So it's extremely important that each little piece that you're adding, or like each little piece, of the system is as simple as you can make it.